Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, look at that. It all worked out really good this good morning. morning. Good morning, good morning. Oh, I do not want to hear myself talking. But I do want to see comments. I know I'm early, but I just wanted to get all set up and ready to roll. Good morning, Corey and Joni, Janice, Lisa, Anne. Hi, Anne. Roma, Michelle, good morning, good morning, good morning. Terry, hi, Terry. Susan, oh, you guys are so right on. Wait, Jackie, where's Universal City? Is that like Universal Studios? I don't know. I just hope that the video didn't stop already with everybody here. No, it didn't stop. I stopped it because I'm not the sharpest. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Shan Chandra. Marilyn, off to work. That's all right. It'll be saved. Who am I missing? Laura. Laura Ashley. Laura. Laura Ashley and Lori. <laughs> oh, San Antonio, largest suburb. Hmm. Kathy, Patricia. Okay. Hi. Good morning. Um, we're going to talk about a couple of things before we get started today because I now am putting these on YouTube and I've had a lot of comments on this page about the page. So I hate rules. I hate them. And so while we are sequestered, which is what I'm calling it, it's my sequestration, you know, me and Ryan Seacrest, we're in sequestration. So I'm sequestered, and you guys probably are too. I, I hope you are, because that's the only way we're going to take care of this thing. Um, <clears throat> long story short, while we are sequestered here, and I'm doing these live videos on art journaling, I just want to say this all is going to take itself and come back into lettering. I have had lots of people who have commented privately, <laughs> thank God, uh, who want to make sure this stays a lettering group. This will stay a lettering group. I'm just trying to give you ways to use your lettering that you may not have thought of before. And journaling and art journaling is one of those things that can create and give you such lovely energy when you are stuck in a house for six days like me, or uh, you're stuck in a house with a bunch of people that you wish you weren't stuck with, you know, that's why we're doing this art journaling. But first and foremost, let's move this. This is a Facebook group for lettering. And if you are viewing this on YouTube, which I now am able to put this on YouTube, we are always every day over at Facebook in a group called Creative Hand Lettering with Lindsay. Um, so why do we have that group? We have that group because Lindsay, me, wrote this book with a doornet called Creative Hand Lettering with Lindsay. How surprising that the group is named Creative Hand Lettering with Lindsay. So I use journaling as a way to work through a lot of crap. I mean, I'm sorry, kids. I'm sorry. I know there's kids. I use journaling to work through a lot of things. Um, journaling and art and lettering make me happy. Journaling, art, and lettering are a place where I can unload a lot of stuff from the day that I just need to unload. And right now I'm afraid and I'm nervous and I'm anxious and I'm stressed. And this is a way that journaling and lettering can work together with a little bit of art mixed in. Okay. Got that? So for right now, I know lots of people have been posting all different kinds of things on this page. They will stay. But when we are unsequestered, <laughs> when there is no more Ryan Seacrest in our house to give us Seacrestation, um, <clears throat> we're going back to 100% lettering 100 at a time. So don't leave. If you were one of the people that commented and said you want to get back to lettering, let's start with this. Order the lettering book. So go to my, um, go to my Etsy page, which, hold on, i got to find that link. Go to my Etsy page and order the book. Let's start there. Here you are. You can order this book. And lots of these ladies that you see hanging with us right now, and maybe some guys, 
um, have got the book already. So they are practiced and ready to go since last September when the book came out. So go get the book, okay? Thepaperrabbit.etsy.com. If you want me to put your name in it, just leave me a little message in the notes and say, please um, sign it to Suzy Q or whatever it may be. All right, so that's that. So I've done my shameless plugs. Let me make sure I've read my notes. First and foremost, we're a lettering group. I told you that. Check. Where's a pen? Where's something to check this off? Second, a shout out to my friend Roma. It says right there. So yesterday I got this box or bag or whatever you want to call it in the mail from um, Good Morning Barbara and Marianne and Joni. Sorry, I was on my soapbox for a minute there yelling at everybody. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So I got this bag in the mail from Lindy's Stamp Gang or Lindy's Gang or something. Oh, these are so warm still. And I opened it and I realized what was inside were these mica pigmented powders. You can still see them down there. They're still getting good. Um, from Lindy's Stamp Gang, or I think it's called Lindy's Gang now. I'll show you their card in a minute. Anyway, my sweet friend Roma sent me the nicest gift, and I knew it was from her, but I had to confirm it with Lindy's because they didn't put any message in it. So we're going to play with these today with our backgrounds. Um, they're mica pigment powders that you mix with warm water when you get them, and then they create these hopefully amazing sprays. This is their card that came with it. And it says, you're awesome. <laughs> so they're telling me already that I'm awesome. And then it tells you a little bit of what to do with some of their stuff. But we're going to, I never read directions. Directions and rules, eh, overrated. Uh, okay, next thing I want to tell you about is at 4 p.m. today, I'm going to be coming on live, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to be live for Adorn It. And that means we're going to have lots of Buy It Lives. I'm going to do some demos and things with the Quotables Box Subscription Kit, which we're not going to talk about right now. We'll talk about it later. If you want to know about the subscription box kits, go to the pinned post at the top of this page, okay? Go find it there. Hi, Doreen and Debbie. I think I said hi to everybody else. I don't know, Lily and Vicki. Um, okay, so now we also have a YouTube hookup. So if you can't see these videos here and it's too hard to search the Facebook groups and find it and scroll way back, They'll be posted, not all of them, I'm going to tell you, but these art journaling ones for sure will because I'm going to have five all together. Um, they'll be posted on YouTube. The YouTube hookup is surprisingly Lindsay Ostrom. Oh, hi, Lindsay Hargrave and Bev DeLucia. Yesterday, Sid was here. We had all the rabbiteers in the house. Uh, okay. Uh, surprisingly, the YouTube hookup is Lindsay Ostrom, creator of cuteness. Surprise. <laughs> I know. It's either Paper Rabbit or Lindsay Ostrom. It's one or the other. Um, and then there's last but not least. So we did that, did that, did that, did that. There is new art in the files. So whenever I upload a freebie for you guys to get, it will be in the files. And this is, um, today is just the coloring sheets. But I hope today to get that Corona kindness sheet because a bunch of you guys have asked me, where can I get that little girl with the mask? That will be in the files for as long as we are sequestered. <laughs> I know my husband makes fun of me for saying that, but I really like that word. As long as we're sequestered all here together in our homes, um, that will be a freebie. But then it's only going to be in black and white. The color and the black and white will eventually be put on my Etsy page. Okay. Is that enough business for today? If you guys missed any of the business... <laughs> Oh my gosh, something just crashed in my kitchen. Oh, that made me jump. Phew. Okay, I can breathe. Um, so if you guys have missed any of my soapbox uh, announcements, go back to the beginning of this because things are going to change here on this page and we're going to get back to lettering, okay? Uh, somebody also said that I didn't give them a chance to see this journal yesterday. So the reason I didn't is because today we're talking about backgrounds and washes. Let me bring this down a bit now, I think. I'm trying to be way more professional. Just it's a joke. Um, so somebody said I didn't show this book and that's because today we're talking about backgrounds and washes. So I wanted to hold off on this until we got to backgrounds and washes. 
So this is a book that I put together showing basically backgrounds and washes for in-person classes that I teach. Um, and I just want to go through, I'm going to go through page by page and then we're going to get started. So if you're bored, get a cup of coffee, get some snacks. Now is the walkthrough part. So I started this book with my girlfriends, my bitches. I'm sorry again, kids. Moms, get your hands ready to put them over your kids' ears because occasionally a word comes out. There's my public service announcement. So we go on road trips all the time where we do art wherever it is we are. So we were at a hotel about, mm, I want to say 15 miles from where we all live. It wasn't far. And we were in that hotel. And uh, this was our key thing. You know, when you go to a hotel, they give you a key envelope. Every opening is a beginning. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Hi, Ann Deekers. Thank you for saying that I shouldn't be a professional. That makes me happy. And Liz and Deanna and Betty, all you guys go back and watch the beginning of this video now that you're joining uh, when you're done because there's lots of soapbox, uh, Lindsay, um, let's get back to the rules things. So I made a little tag, which of course I never finished out of just a scrap of watercolor paper. And look it, I love to save little scraps when you cut them because you can either sew them, use a stapler. Let me. Somebody asked me about my stapler yesterday. Hopefully I have it here. I do, I do. So this is my Tim Holtz handy dandy stapler. So if you're able to still order from Amazon or somewhere online and you can't get out, now's the time to order one of these babies. Good morning, Janice and Melissa. They're my favorite. I put X's on everything with my Tim Holtz stapler. See how teeny tiny the staples are? And let me tell you, if you can still find this stapler and you buy one, buy a bunch of staples. Buy a bunch because who knows how long he's going to have it. I have like 10 boxes of staples. <laughs> okay, so this page was acrylic paint, pencil, uh, tissue, a music note page, like a hymnal. Oh, there's another thing I shouldn't tell kids that I, I don't steal the hymnals. I get them at the thrift stores. Laura, <laughs> you are. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. Hi, Carol and Melissa and Liz. Liz from Kansas. All right. So this page was one. I'm sure it's too late. Uh, but I used um, masking fluid and I never took it off. Uh, I love bits of fabric and I am a circles girl. So in my journals, you're going to see lots of circles. You need an Amazon suggested material. So if we order from your link, you can get credit. Somebody tell me how to do that and I'm doing it. This is acrylic paint and I used a comb here. These are all done with watercolor. Uh, this was splattered, probably because it soaked through from the backside, so I just continued it. Acrylic paint. So the first half of this book is mainly acrylic paint and I love to create my backgrounds and then I love to go back in and do my lettering. So most of this doesn't have any lettering, which is why I'm showing it today. But again, what did we talk about at the beginning of this um, video, kids? Hi, Sandy and Stephanie and Jamie. We talked about lettering first and foremost is here. And I'm going to start cracking down on that after the sequestration. Because Ryan Seacrest told me to do that. I'm sorry. I think I'm funny, but sometimes I'm really not. <laughs> but anyway, acrylic paint. This is watercolor paper and watercolor on there. I cut up a page. I just do these background pages. And I'm planning on doing a background page today that I will then scan and you guys can use some of my backgrounds. So acrylic paint and a comb or a credit card, I can't remember. This was a credit card, so you put your paint blobs on the paper and then you do this. Like that. I uh, don't think that you can get this number off of that credit card because it's no good anymore. I love to stitch on my pages. If you're not a stitcher and you don't have a um, sewing machine, don't worry, just you know, glue it down, use some washi tape, whatever. Here's some super cute washi tape, which wasn't mine. I stole it from one of my girlfriends when we were sitting crafting. Um, I love to cut out circles. Did we say that already? This is a spray. We're going to do a spray today. Oh, shoot. I got to go find some bubble wrap. I am going to have to leave for a second so I can go find bubble wrap because we need to use bubble wrap today. This is a sponge and this is bubble wrap. See the little polka dots here? I got to go get some. So yeah, there's more bubble wrap. Acrylic paint. This is still, we're still in the acrylic paint phase. This is the craft acrylics that we talked about yesterday, right? 
If I'm going too fast, tell me to slow down. Okay, here's some of my favorite stuff. Circles. Did I already say I love circles? <laughs> I use circles everywhere. So more of that washi tape and circles that came from this. We all drink water, and we all should drink a lot more water. So drink a lot of water and save your caps. If you don't have caps, um, if you're on drugs like me, like every kind of, I should take this label off, every kind of blood pressure medicine, heart medicine, asthma medicine, urinary tract medicine, you name it, I'm on it. I need an assistant. Anita, come here. Help me. But you can't. You can't. I'm sequestered. Uh, anyway, any type of cap works good. I forgot to tell you this. Let's go back to this one. When I said a comb, you comb through it. It's like those men that comb through their hair. Well, where did that page go? Oh, here. See the little white lines here? When you have it painted, you just take your comb and you scrape across. There are a million tools that you can find, a million, but we're not talking about, I don't want to overwhelm you guys. Uh, yeah, I don't want to overwhelm you. So that's all I'm going to say. This is a beater, you know, like an egg beater that my friend Karen has, and I borrow it all the time when we're together, and I just make a whole bunch of pages. Super cute. This is tissue again, uh, watercolor masked off with washi tape. We'll talk about masking. If I don't talk about these things that I say, hopefully somebody there is my secretary and say, Lindsay, you said we would talk about masking. Tissue paper again, mica flake, bubble wrap. Okay, now we're into watercolor washes. So the difference between acrylic and watercolor is going to be, most of the time, the density. The acrylic is going to be much thicker than the watercolor. I think this is part of watercolor and acrylic, but there's acrylic. See how thick that is? So now we're on to watercolor, wash, bubble wrap, okay? That's watercolor, wash in the background, acrylic on top. And how fun is this going to be to letter right in there? Oh, my gosh. Anne says, I save and cut out, cut, I don't know, and use the bubble padding inside the padded envelopes for backgrounds. There's also clear stamp circles. Yeah, we had yesterday, I showed this one. I use this a lot. It's an um, ink blot. There are lots of good rubber stamps. But I'm here to tell you, you need to buy way more pens for lettering. So don't buy anything that you may have hanging around your house. This is a little bit more involved. This is called Calusa Skies. This is a class I'll be having on my online class. But this is... Um, Let's see. This is a class that will be online this year. And what does that say, Laura Ashley? Do you use journals that have watercolor paper, or can we use others? You can use others. This one is uh, Bristol paper. It's just a thicker paper. It's not watercolor paper at all. Um, they do have mixed-media journals that have mixed-media paper in. I highly recommend those because it's super thick, and it'll take any medium so it doesn't get wrinkly and warped and wobbly. This is a page I happen to love. And I'm just waiting for the perfect, um, oh, I got to cover these two up. You can't see these because these, those are for my review on uh, Life Documented. Okay, let's see. Betty said you can use watercolor or mixed media journals. Yep, you can use anything. I even use, and I told you I would have it today. I got to make some notes. So I need to get the composition book with the washi tape. And I could run downstairs, but I already have to go outside and get bubble wrap as it is. So this is just paper. This is from an old ledger sheet. This is that the gold that you see. I hope you can see that is, and I'll talk about that on the Life Documented video. This is a mica flake ink, mica powder ink from Kuretake. We're not going to get into that today. Hi, Sylvia and Linda and Jody. Here's that stamp that I showed you yesterday that I use a lot. Oh, no, this is, yeah, that's her. I don't know, maybe a different one. I have tons of these in all different sizes. So I love this face. I love these circle stamps with words on them. This is from a company called Cat's Life Press. I don't even know if they're still in business, but they're awesome. Um, and it has word backgrounds in what? What's Lindsay's favorite? 
Let's see. Let's see if you guys can all tell me. This is more the Tisha Moore style. This is cut out from a magazine page, magazine page, washi tape, washi tape, washi tape. But I love the magazine pages too. It's just really not my style, so I don't do a whole lot of it. Circles, you are right, Laura Ashley. You get an A plus. And Stephanie. So here's another one that's a little bit more Tisha Moore looking. If you guys haven't looked up a lot of those people that I talked about yesterday, I'm going to post information about them still. What is this? This is in the wrong place. It must have... I hate that. Let's get some tape here and stick it back down. This fell off because I used a bad glue stick, obviously. There we go. Um, for those of you guys who have signed up for my Lesson 10 of the Lettering with Lindsay Lesson 10, it comes with a free video, a bonus video called Rainbow Bright, which quite honestly and shamefully I haven't finished yet, but it's going to be paint chips. This is a paint chip right here. I love using paint chips in art journaling. Do you not know what a paint chip is? Hold on. I think I have one here somewhere. Paint chips. Oh my gosh, and look at the colors I pulled out. Like all you would have to do is put that down and do some lettering here, and you could be done. Isn't that super cool? Paint chips. Don't go now because you'd have to go to a store to get them. But when you go, um, bring an extra large bag. <laughs> Don't tell your kids I told you that. Patricia says, I am using a Canson mixed media that I have had forever at home, and it says it works for watercolor, acrylic, pencil. Yeah, I'm here to tell you everything will work. It's just going to work differently. Each, each type of substrate that you work with, which is your paper. First time somebody used that word substrate, I about died. I never had heard it before. Ann Deeker says, oh, the horrors of not finishing a class. Imagine. <laughs> I have just too much in my brain, Anne. And Laura Ashley says, I built up a stock of paint chips. Yeah, you're ready, I know. And Debbie says, I love paint chips. Now I have something new to do with my collection. Hi, Carolee. Carolee's my boss. She's the head honcho at Adorn It. Let's all tell Carolee we love her. We love Adorn It. Carolee's going to be doing a free class here on Facebook. Maybe if she's still here, she'll tell us where that is so that we can all find it. Okay. All right. So you have, remember yesterday we talked about finding your style? So that's what I mean. I do all different kinds of styles trying to find my own style, and I pretty much found it now. So Stephanie, if this is possibly one of your favorites, then you found your style. Another magazine page, cut up pieces of paper, washi tape, a Posca pen, and pencil. I love pencil. A deep, dark, black wing pencil is fabulous. Oh, see, look, Patric I mean, uh, Carolee, they're all telling you they love you. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is, uh, it's hard to see, but this is a stencil that I pushed this stuff through. I don't even know if this is still around, but this is Nouveau Embellishment Mousse, which is also the same as modeling paste, um, and you can push that through your stencils, and it creates a raised background. My husband also has a caulking gun with caulk for the shower, you know, for tile, I've used caulk before. It just takes longer to um, longer to dry. So anyway, that's that one. Oh, look, now we're ready to play because, oh, look, this is a little girl that used to work with me at Ben Franklin, Bailey. She's obsessed with Disney, and she wanted to do Disney stuff in my journal. So I gave her the last two pages, <laughs> and she did that. All right, so ready to play. So first thing I want to do, oh, hold on. One thing I didn't show yesterday was this cool journal that's from Adorn It. This comes in my basic subscription box kit. It's actually not a subscription. It's the basic tool kit, and it comes in there, and look at what's in it. White paper, brown, uh, black paper, grid paper, and craft paper. And it is just super fun for lots of different... Uh, I use it for practicing. I use it for creating pages that then I can tear out and use in other things, but it is one of my favorite... Uh, books just for practice. Love it. And see if the pages are too thin, kids, you take two pages and you glue them together with a glue stick. So if it's too thin, just keep that book because you love it and make it all, um, all flat 
put a piece of washi here after you glue it together. I have had books that are so thin, the paper, Tomoe River paper, where I glue together like four or five pages. Those composition books, those cheapy 50 cent ones, um, you need to glue those pages together. All right, so let's move this. Okay, here's one thing I want to tell you. In case you can read Japanese, I want to turn it the right way. Or Chinese, I don't know what it is. I can't read it, so I don't know. One thing I'm going to start talking about in some of these classes is a bit more artsy supply stuff. Now, I know you guys are lettering students. Can we use that as our journal? Marianne, there are no rules. You can use anything as your journal. Please use anything and everything you have. Don't go buy anything. Don't be shamed into brands. Just use what you have, really. That's the place to start. Start at the very beginning. Okay. So anyway, I try not to talk about brands and art supplies and stuff like that, but this is one of my favorite things that I own. This is like a $100 set of watercolors from, um, uh, why can't I think of their name? Kuretake. I didn't buy it. I used to be an employee. So I want to show you using my, oh, this, pen, this brush pen is, needs water. We'll go to this. Because this is like real watercolor and it's super thick. So here's book pages. Can I tell you how thin book pages are? Super thin. But, um, whatchamacallits, see I can't read this. <laughs> and I did make a chart that told me what, what was what color, but do I have that chart with me now? No. But Roma knows my favorite color, so I'll just do them here. So this is book pages. So that's why I wanted to show you guys... Um, you don't have to have anything fancy to get started. Remember that book that I showed you yesterday? Hold on. This one, I bought this at a thrift store for 50 cents, maybe 50 cents. So if you have a book downstairs or in your collection or whatever that you don't read anymore, you don't need to read it, you don't want to read it, go get it and play with it. C cut things out, paste it on top of the pages. Use whatever you have. Please don't go buy anything. Use what you have. But when you grow up, <laughs> and you decide you want something else, this is a super fun set of watercolors because it's just really dark and fun. Isn't it cool? And look how fun book pages look when they're painted on. All right, let me make sure I have everybody's statements. Burr, burr, burr. Jan says, oh, I have one of those. Haven't used them yet. You have the Kuretake paints? They're awesome. So I just wanted to throw that in because I will be talking about art supplies. Don't go spend $100 right now. So, all right, so now we, we, I digress. So the first thing I want to show you is acrylics. No, lied. We also talked about this pay, book yesterday that just has pages in it. This is how I'm going to start because I can't find my heat tool, damn it, dang it. So we're just going to use whatever papers I have in here. Oh, under paper. This is considered under paper. Um, Robin Marie Smith taught me about under paper in a class that I took from her, and I love it. Because if you have a cool piece of paper or a brown bag or something, put it under your work. And then when you get paint on this, you can cut it up. Linda says, you can make copies of the book pages and use them as well. Well, yes, you can, Linda. Smarty pants. Linda. Class pet. All right, why do I love washi tape? Because it creates a border, and it peels right off, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. Sometimes it doesn't. I started with masking tape, then I went to artist tape, and it all sucks. Okay, where'd that brush go? It's just too much here. So you can take your acrylic paint and go straight from the tube I am gonna to have to get up and get water. I mean, not the tube, you know what I mean? The bottle, it's a bottle. And you can do whatever you want. There's no rhyme nor reason to art journaling. Just play and have fun. And 
sometimes I will paint on my background paper so I make sure that I have a cool piece when I'm done. I think that's about done, right? Doesn't take long. You don't have to spend uber amounts of time because you layer. Now I'm only pulling this off to show you that the washi tape comes off. Normally I would let that dry there, but this is like when they do those baking shows and they pull things out of the oven and it's all done. Okay, so my favorite thing is creating this borderline. Now this can go in a journal. This could become a card base and you could write the word happy birthday on it. Oh, I pushed that down too far. It's pulling some of my paper up. You don't have to push hard with washi tape. Oh my gosh, Becky. Look how cute that is. It's still wet, right? But we'll come back to that and we'll do some lettering on it later. So see how quick and easy that one was? Took seconds. Next. We're going to use up some of this paper today. So let's try one on a, how about black? All right, let's do black. The other thing that you can do, this is what I wanted to show you about the credit card. You put some drops. I mean, and there's people that are way, well, see, I put way too much. There's people that are way better than me at this. There's people that are way more knowledgeable at this than me. I'm here to just show you it and get you to love it and make you try it and then go find some of those people. But for now, we're just doing lettrin on this. Lots of lettrin. All right, so you ready? I'm going to go that way so you guys don't steal my credit card number. And you pull. Oh, my God, I may have to leave it like that. No, because I want to show you. When you have ink still on your credit card, then you go flatter. Mm, that's super cool. And you can lift it up. Okay, now I have to be done. Oh, the next thing is you should have lots of baby wipes handy. Um, I don't have any baby wipes because I had to take them all to my mom's house because, of course, you can't get them at the markets. So I'm using my very expensive fancy napkins because we're almost out of paper towels too. But baby wipes, oh, look at how cool that is. I should have done it on the table. I wasn't thinking because I wanted to show you how to clean it up. So make sure you keep these things clean so that when you put your next color on top, well, we'll do some more. Sorry for my arm. And you don't need much paint, really. But that's going to create two lines because I got two little drops. And if you don't like it, don't cry because, oh, I did like that because we're just learning and it's a bottom layer, right? Oops, I ripped my paper. It was too wet right there. Um, this is a bottom layer. It doesn't have to be the finished layer because you can do stuff on top of this. Here, let me show you one other thing while I'm thinking of it. I follow this girl on Facebook. Her name is Miss Tracy. And I know I've talked to you guys about Miss Tracy. Miss Tra Tracy does napkinizing, and I love using napkins. Um, I know we were just doing backgrounds today, and I really am getting off track. So I'm sorry. But you just take the bottom layer of the ply of the napkin. And if you're not following Miss Tracy Creates, somebody here at this group told me about Miss Tracy Creates. Go find her and follow her. She does bitchin' stuff with napkins. Trust me. All right. I'm sorry. I digress. Again and again, I get sidetracked. And the cool thing when you buy fancy napkins is you get four pictures on them. On all four sides, there's a picture. Right? So here's our collage page, which I like way better than... Um, What's that other stuff? Mod Podge. And I don't use brushes for this. I use fingers. And what happens when you do this is it just becomes part of the background. 
you guys see that? I'm sorry, this really wasn't what I was going to show today. But we'll get back to backgrounds in a minute. Where are we? We still have a half hour. Don't worry, I won't leave you hanging here. I'll get back to backgrounds. So see, how cool is that? I think Dogwood gave you those napkins. I just said, thank you, Corey. You did. You gave me those napkins. I love them to pieces. All right. And while it's still wet, we're going to just try this. So this is that Lin Lindy's. And half of doing art journaling is experimenting. Oh, so cool. Oh, my God. That's cool. Okay. So we're going to leave that and let it dry. Look how cool that is. And then I can do lettering up here, right? Do you guys see where this is leading? Do you understand what I'm trying to teach you? Please, somebody tell me I'm making sense. You're creating backgrounds for your lettrin. I have a friend who says lettrin. She doesn't say lettering. Okay, we're going to come back to this. Let's go back to this one. Is it dry? No. All right. So here is a very fancy sheet of something some fancy paper. So this one, I just want to show you this background. Oh, you guys got it? I'm preaching not enough or too much or you're getting it. So back to our um, credit card or gift cards. Oh my gosh, isn't that cool? I got to leave that. And then you take a comb quickly while it's still wet. This may have soaked in. Yeah, it soaked in too fast. Oh no, not quite. There's still a little paint at the edge. So see what the comb does? Right? Super cool. I love that. Then you could take, let's take this big um, pill bottle because my pharmacy is now able to deliver it to me. So I got new meds yesterday. So I won't die here at home, which is kind of a nice thing. You see that? Do you see how cool that is? Here's my only problem with doing art journaling is I get super dirty on my fingers and that makes me crazy being a lettering artist. So when I do art journaling, I have to do it all at once. And then, so I think I love that. Oh, oh, the comb did go through the black. I don't know if you can see it. It's really cool. And then you could take, like if I wanted to, it's still wet, so I'm not going to do it. But I could use washi tape on this to create lines to do my lettering from. I know the comb is cool. You got to look around for things that would make marks. In the real world of art journaling, people call it mark making. So let's try this one now. Because these might be my new favorite things. Thanks, Roma, if you're still here. Oh, God. Look at that. Okay, so you guys might be asking, why am I doing them on pieces of paper rather than in an um, art journal? It's fun to just make backgrounds, and let's go back to this. So sometimes you just can make backgrounds, and then you go back in and you use them for things like, for example, that was a background. See? And then you cut them up and use them for other things. This is one of my favorite backgrounds that I did when I got a new set of paints and I wanted to try every single color. So I may take this and cut it into a heart. I may cut circles. I may rip it. I haven't decided yet, but I brought it out here to show you. And this is not a good pencil, but some of my favorite things to do are just scribbles. Makes people wonder what it says if you were trying to say something. But look how cool and modern and hip that background looks. Carolee says, yes, we still have Lindsay's washi tape in stock. Adornit.com or check out. I don't have it on my Etsy shop. You have to go to Adornit. I'm bad, Carolee. Yeah, check out Adornit.com if you want this washi tape. I think there's other patterns too. I honestly don't remember because this is the one I use all the time. Okay, so we got that one. I'm running out of drying space. All right, so 
You guys got the idea of the acrylic paints? Because I want to move on to some watercolor backgrounds. Oh, let's just try one with just the sprays. Since we're on sprays and I hate getting my hands dirty and stuff. Look at that. Ugh. Oh, bubble wrap. I'm going to go get bubble wrap while this dries. So see, with these sprays, you have to kind of be far away. You don't want to be up close. So you can get kind of a fine mist. Just depends on what you want, I guess. That's going to be fun to letter, though. I'm telling you what. Okay, so while I go outside and find the bubble wrap, I'll let you guys watch paint dry. That's cool. Okay, hang on. I'm coming right back. I'll be back. I hope I have bubble wrap. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. They sell rolls of bubble wrap or when you get packages in the mail, it's even better to keep those. And I've, I've forgotten already who told us that she pulls apart the padded envelopes that come with bubble wrap and uses those. Somebody said so. I'm gonna have to take a break and get um, fresh water. So I just take and I put paint on my bubble wrap. You can see the bubbles start appearing, right? You guys see that? Let's throw a little purple in there. No rhyme or reason. And press it down. And let me tell you, it comes out different each time. Just when you think you've got it mastered, you do it again and something different happens. Oh my God, that's cool. Oh, Carol Lee, they're giving you suggestions. I'm staying out of that. Whew. Let's see. Michaels has a sale on those sprays. Got this email this morning. They don't carry Lindy's, do they? Lindy's is an independent company, and they're, uh, I mean, I'm all for saving money, but I'm more for helping the little guy stay in business right now. So Michaels doesn't need the money as much as these little guys, so... Try to help the little people out. I'm an independent store supporter. Okay, so there's bubble wrap, right? Check. We talked about bubble wrap. And to me, there's not a lot of space to write. Well, I guess I could write with a black pen in there. But what I think I would do is take my purple and make some stripey lines. And I could do a poem or something right in those lines. Or I could address it as a postcard. Isn't that cool? So that's that. Yeah, bubble wrap is super cool. There's other things like, um, you know, the bags that your oranges come in that are mesh? You can use those too. Uh, Jen says, where do you get Lindsay paint? I wish you could get Lindsay paint, but this is Lindy paint. It's from lindysgang.com. <laughs> I should change the label, though, for Lindsay's. <laughs> okay, anyway, it's Lindy, Lindy's gang. I, and I'm sure you can get it at small independent retail stores, not the big guys. They won't carry it because, you know, they only buy from people who have UPCs on the back of their stuff. And don't get me started on Michael's and Joanne's. It's a hate-hate relationship. All right, let's find a paper that is not watercolor paper. So here's just an inexpensive cardstock. And we're going to get some inexpensive watercolors. Are these the adornant ones? Where's my adornants? Here. Oh, people ask me all the time, why do I take the lids off? I take the lids off because this one had a bubble top lid. And I can use this as a palette for mixing colors. And then it's easier for me to just keep this right in front of me. All right, here comes more art supply knowledge. I have to get fresh water. 
So talk amongst yourselves. So I learned this from a, a watercolor artist, so I will pass it along. KP says, it's a small business here in Washington. I love supporting artists of all kinds. Here, here, sister friend. Um, you can't see it, but I'm wearing my Mountain Mamas sweatshirt that came yesterday. I don't think I'm taking it off for the whole time I'm home. It came from Sunnyside Up Studio. She's just the sweetest girl. Okay, I use two cups for water when I do watercolors. One is for putting water on the paint and washing your brush. No. I said that wrong. One is for washing your brush, and the other one is for putting uh, water on the paint. Okay. Then, look, I need to draw like I need to breathe. That is so true. So for real, what I call real art projects, I use real brushes. I don't use a water brush pen. I use my water brush pens for coloring things in and that kind of stuff. But for this, where I want to create a background of color, as quickly as I can and as deeply as I can. I'm wearing a cute Adorn It hoodie. That's so cool. So in keeping with my purples and blue theme, so I can create a journal when I'm done, you just are gonna use as much water and color as possible to get nice washes. And this Laura Ashley goes back to blending our colors together. I love doing those galaxies. The problem with doing it here for you guys is with when you do a galaxy wash, um, you want to let your paint dry and then add more color to it. And just for um, purposes of showing you the difference between an inexpensive watercolor and an artist quality watercolor, get ready. So there's the purple, right? There's the artist quality. See the deep, deep darkness? I didn't get enough pigment. But see how dark that is? I mean, big difference. Oh man, look at that. That's gonna be cool to write in. And we're going to talk about writing on these pages tomorrow because there are certain kinds of pens that you should use um, to write on top of stuff. Man, that's cool. What other color can we use here? Do we use purple? Yeah, I did. So you can see the difference, right? You see that the um, inexpensive watercolor is way more watery looking. Hi, Karen Boudreaux. I'm wearing my daytime pajamas. <laughs> I did the same thing. And I read somebody online who said, oh, I just changed into my daytime jammies from my nighttime jammies. We all do that. It's okay. Okay. So you can see the difference. Yes. Oh, and the reason that, okay, so I just got it muddy. You can see how muddy that is. It doesn't really matter with this. But the reason that you want to wash your brush out and then get clear um, water for your paint is that you'll pick up the old color and drag it in and you don't wanna do that. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, so let's just try this. I am a huge fan of splashes if you haven't got that yet. Amy says, I have artist quality ones too. They are so creamy and intense. Yes. Heck yes. That's why you got to um, not buy as many tools for mixed media and for art journaling because there's so much stuff for mark making like pens, paint brushes, paint. You got to buy it all. You need the cheap stuff and you need the good stuff. If Carolee is still here, she is laughing at me right now because she is a true artist. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave that as it is because it is just too cool. So that's watercolor. I'm going to show you another watercolor with the washi tape. Washi, washi, washi. 
and I got something on this page. So, and if you're working in a journal, you need a heat tool to dry your pages in between, or you need um, deli paper. Remember we talked about deli paper yesterday? If you don't remember, go back and watch that video. Okay, so. Well, I just broke a cardinal rule there. Put my brush in my wrong water. Again, we're creating backgrounds for lettering because first and foremost, what are we here, kids? We're a lettering group. We want to show things about lettering, except right now when we are in Ryan sequestration. We are sequestered and we need to do whatever we can do to keep ourselves happy. So I will forego that rule. Patricia says, question, when you use acrylic, you use water to thin it out. You can, you don't have to. You can use it straight from the bottle. Um, but if you want it to be more gouache, watercolory looking, then yeah, definitely thin it down. Okay, in case you weren't paying attention, this is the cheapy watercolors. It's not the good stuff. Cheapy. It is, a good, however, a good piece of paper. I think it's a Fabriano that's got some kind of content in it like a rag quality. All right, let's tear this up. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. Man, it's not even, it's not straight, but that's okay. That's cool. And I don't wanna do anything else to that because that is gonna make a great border. Okay. Ann Deeker says, it makes me happy just watching. Watching, you can't find your washi tape on a doornet. Uh, I'll make sure that it's up there before the next Buy It Live video. Let me, um, I'll send them a message. All right, so what haven't we talked about yet? We talked about masking. Oh, we could do this as a background. Hold on, let me find out if this is dry. This is not dry, so we can't use that one. Let's use a brown one. Oh, wait, don't I have my good stamp pad ink? I do. I hate that ink. Hate, hate, hate. I love India ink. This is also from Adornit, India ink pad. I don't know if that's up there either. Those girls are so busy creating things, sometimes they don't take time to do their website. But I will, I will bring it to their attention. Damn it. Darn it. I think the stamp has sunk. Let me stand up. I am not a good stamper. Ah, oh, much better. Okay, why is India ink good? Because you can watercolor on top of it. So, why do I say to have just a whole boatload of just sheets of paper cut and ready to go rather than go directly into an art journal. If you want your art journal to look a, a certain way, it's good to just have pages like this because then you can cut them up and paste them in your art journal. It's going on here. Look, I found some cool background. That was done with a credit card. Oh, that was the other side of it done with a credit card. We're going to use that tomorrow. God, that's cool. Let's actually do this since this is out. This is the problem with art journaling. Bring a few things to the table, not tons, because you can be here all day just playing around with stuff. Just do a little bit more with stamps. God, that's cool. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Ugh, these ideas come to me in the craziest ways. Not that brush, because that is a good $25 watercolor brush. Got to use up some of this paint. Don't waste paint.
God, that's cool. I think I put those away because I didn't like them. Sometimes that happens. You have something that you're really not happy with, but all you need to do is change it up a bit and then it's okay. And then when you do lettering on it, I see gals that are not lettering artists that just do backgrounds and that's their entire art journal. So trust me when I say that is not your entire art journal. Okay, so I think I have enough to deal with tomorrow. Oh, I wanted to show you this. See, we're going to use this light, light blue and get lots of water. See how I colored on top of that moon? I wish I had time to do this more and I didn't have to really work. Because now I want to do this for the rest of the day. See how dark it is right there? Just take some more water and thin it out if you're not happy with the amount of color you have. And this is just cheap um, cardstock from the scrapbooking papers. So when I say if you were a scrapbooker, go through your pages. There's lots of good stuff you can use from there. Oh, that is going to be cool to letter. Okay. Betty is crying. I need my art toys. You're going to have to go back out to the garage. I saw you were there last night in the middle of the night. I get it. What happens when you move and you have to pack? Sorry, Chari. Okay, I think I'm done showing you backgrounds. Let me make sure nobody has any other questions. Uh, burr, 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 burr. No, no more questions, right? So I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of what we just did, even though my pages are wet. This is proving that you can just write on book pages, see? It's thin, it doesn't matter. The Sharpie went through, the IdentiPen went through, but this is a um, writer, pigmented ink writer. And see, it didn't go through to the other page, it just went through to the, to the back. And what could we do there if this was in a journal? Well, we're just gonna glue that down to it, right? Just cover that up. That's half the fun, is figuring out how to fix it. So that's where we began. Then we did this, which I got my dirty fingers on. Otherwise, it would have been really cute as a bordered piece, but I can cut that or tear it. But that was with washi tape. And um, yes, one question. Can't find yesterday's video on YouTube. Yes, it's there, Ann Deekers, because I saw it this morning. Uh, another question is... Lindsay, do you use gelatos? I don't own any. When I worked at Ben Franklin, I used them, and I did like them. I use oil pastels. Let's see if I can show you why I use oil pastels. They do pretty much the same thing as a gelato. And I was taught by Tisha that once you put your image down, you take your gelato or an oil pastel around the edge, in a color that's similar to your magazine page and kind of blend it into it so it looks like it's all part of the page. But I spend too much time lettering to have gelatos. But Anne, it's there. If you can't find it, uh, message me and I'll send you the link. Okay, so we did that one. We did this one, which is fun to show you now as it's dried a little bit. That's that napkin. <clears throat> I'll send you the link. Or somebody can post the link, one of us, whatever. So this was this napkin, remember, from Cory Dogwood. Um, it just blends into the background when you use that collage page, right? Okay, so we did that page. We did this one, this is almost dry, and I got my dirty fingers in it again, which is just an opportunity to put something else there. Probably a circle that I will cut out. Oh, I wanna do a full background so I can post it for you guys to share. We did that one. These are all drying. And we did this one, which I love. God, that's cool. 
and this one. Okay. And look at how this is turning out. Man, oh man. That's cool. All right, let's do a background so I can post that. But maybe I should just post all of those. Not all of them. Oh, wait, there are more here. There's one where I threw salt into it. If you don't follow Danielle Donaldson, she teaches you how to throw salt into watercolor when it's wet to create these little amoebas. Another one. Oh, these are all Calusa skies. Gosh, I had no idea I had all these in here. Those are perfect for lettering. Hope I didn't go on top of anything. I think I'll just pick one of those and I'll post it as a background for you guys to use, okay? So I think that's where we're going to end it for today. If you guys don't have any other questions, I'm going to be done and clean up this mess and get back to work. Okay, so I'm falling asleep. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, I'm going to figure out how to put this one on YouTube. It's not easy, but it is doable. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow, and we'll do some more of this fun stuff. And I have to use up my paint. I cannot leave it there. Oh, and I use my watercolor brush for acrylic. What a dodo. It's okay. Because it's all about making marks, you guys. You just want to play. And especially if you're new to it, that'll be fun. Because then it'll be like experimenting to see how all this stuff works. All right. I'm going to go now. Because otherwise I could do this forever and ever and ever. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll finish up some of these pages. Um, we'll create a page from start to finish. And remember... Lettering is first and foremost. So everything that we're doing here corresponds with the lettering that you're le learning, correct? And if you need the book, it is... Oh, no, that's not the book. <laughs> if you need the book or online classes, they are at thepaperrabbit.etsy.com, right? Oh, you guys are amazing. I love you. Have a good day. I'm going to clean up this mess end with this for our YouTube video people.